Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here and I've got a great new update for you in regards to Google Drive documents, files of docs, sheets, slides, including your Microsoft versions of those if you're not converting those into Google format. And that is the ability to use approvals. So the approval process is now going to be embedded inside of your file menu and you'll see that for your docs, sheets, and slides as well as the Microsoft equivalents of that you've got stored in your Google Drive. So with that, let's go ahead and show you how this is going to work because we're going to do a little dual layer piece here where we're going to show you what does it look like from the approval or approver and what does it look like from the approval requester's viewpoints. So with that, in our menu here, we see that underneath the file menu there is approvals. That second option down underneath my share button. This is my Microsoft version of this file. Now if I go into my Google version, you'll see the same thing under the file menu. There is my approvals with my little new button there. And I can click on this and it's going to pull out my approval menu. So to the right side of the screen you'll see it says make a request. If I click on that it's going to pull up a who do you want to approve this file. In this case I'm going to say my coworker Gary and we'll select that person and we'll just say please approve before today's meeting. Now down underneath that you'll see apply a due date where I can select a certain date if it's not necessarily now or today and down below that even a time. Being that I'm just doing this on the fly we'll skip that step for now but you will have the ability to do that allow approvers to edit this file. So do you want someone to be able to not only approve it but to edit the file as well. We can select that in case they want to open and then lock the file before sending the approval request out just in case one of my coworkers might try to jump into it between now and that time that my approver could be editing or approving that file. I know this is going to be instantaneous because it's just to myself so I'll leave that blank for the moment. Now underneath that you'll see it says edits during the approval process will reset any other recorded approvals. So it's going to keep track of all these. So for example if I jump back to my Microsoft file and I know I've done some stuff here with the approval process. If we click on approvals same window pops out to the right side but you'll see in the window here approval was completed today and then down in the bottom right corner there is an approved version of this file and I can view it from here as well. But let's reset things. Let's go to our Google version and do things from here. So let's click on send our request and we're going to share it with that person. So we'll say send and got it. Now that person is going to get an email. So what I want to do is I want to show you what does that email look like from that approver's vantage point. So give me just a moment here. We are going to open up this in another window. I am going to drag that into our screen so you can see what is the email that is going to get sent to the approver. This is a new approval request. Now from here as the approver, I can click on open and get into that particular file. I'll see the file in all its pride and glory and what needs to be done with it. I can see my coworker is in the file and in the upper right corner I can have a look and maybe we need to do some things. I can edit it, add some comments or whatever and in the upper right I can approve and reject it. So we'll just say this is going to be good to go for now. Now if you don't give that person the ability to edit the file it will open up the file in a preview mode and they'll be able to do the looky-loo at it do a quick read, approve and reject. Those buttons will be visible there for them to use without having to get into the file like we are from here. In this case we're just going to click on that approve button and send that off to our person that is waiting for that approval. Approve the request? Yes please. We'll just say good to go. And we'll just correct my spelling there and approve and the file is being locked. Now what does that mean? Well now that this has been approved it is locking the file to others so they can't edit it after already being approved. So 
I have the ability from here to reload it and get into it and work with it as I may need as the approver. But what does it look like from the other person's view? So let's get out of this and let's go to our other file. And you'll see that as the person requesting the approval, it says this file is locked. And to reload it, I can start working with it from there if I need to. If I click on reload, we will see that screen gets refreshed. In the upper right corner of the screen, you'll have a look. You'll see that next to the profile pictures of the people that are in the file, it now says locked. Now, as the editor or owner of this file, I do have the ability to click on that and unlock the file to continue editing and adding to it maybe as time goes on. But you'll see here, this is the last approved version of this file. Editors can unlock to make the edits, comments, and suggestions, or it stays locked as a read only to everybody so that it can't be edited once it's been approved. So once again, if you need to see those, we can go to File, Approvals. We'll see the comment box pop up there that the approval was completed on November 15th and we are good to go. Now you'll also see another email come in and the approval is going to go through as another email and we'll just drag this to show you. The approval is complete. This is the email that is going to be sent to those people that are a part of that file for the approval process. So with that everyone, that's another great add-on and this is one of those things that's been in beta for a while now but finally available to more people without being in that beta state. Now if you like this update, do me a favor click on that subscribe button down there if you aren't already subscribed and these will be delivered into your mailbox every once in a couple of weeks or so it's not an everyday thing and hey what can I say I do appreciate your loyalty and we're coming up on two million views so thank you so much everybody for that now until we meet again another day another time another update this is Gary the Google guy signing off